Hello everyone, this is Moses from Moses in Korea. Through comments, a lot of people ask me, where do I live? Which university do I attend? That's why today I will talk about the charming and attractive part of my university and where I live. First of all, when I came to Korea for the first time, I attended uh, the Korean language school, which is situated in uh, uh, Sadang. Jongshin Dae, which is called Jongshin University. And then when I was about to graduate, I wanted to study information security. And then I went online, searched all the Korean university that has that major. That's when I found out Suwon University. Yeah, Suwon University is situated in um, Gyeonggi district and Hwasong, a city. And for those who don't know, what uh, we learn in information sec uh, security it is the IT field we learn how to program like some programming language like C++, Java, Python and to be honest it's not easy but anyway in our university we have a lot of foreigners like uh, Chinese friends Japanese friends, Vietnam friends, etc. That's why today I want to talk about uh, the charming part of our university. The first of all is a program called SUBA. SUBA is a program where foreigners and uh, Korean meet together. Korean is a, main, a mentor and the foreigner is a mentee and it's a program that help you to learn more about the culture, to be used to the, the school like environment and uh, your Korean friend helps you a lot in different things and it's really a good program because if you come to Korea as a foreigner it's really hard to continue to practice your Korean language but with your friend of course you have to practice because you will need to meet her or him and it's really amazing and another thing when you live here in Korea you will need a lot of help because you are a foreigner for example if you want to apply for a part-time job or you want to like to to rent a house or something related to the insurance or or visa so that's why you really need really need a korean friend for example if you get an emergency it's really hard to contact a teacher or like someone in a high level in the school because it might be in the weekends, it might be at night, and it's not that good. But if you have a friend, you can contact him or her anytime. For example, in the weekends, it's okay. Night, you can even call her or him, and it's really helpful. And also, you change the mental every semester, which means like to, to meet new friends. Uh, from my experience, when I, was, uh, I wanted to apply for a part-time job, it was really hard to use the part-time job like application because it's all in Korean. And then I asked my friend and she really helped me and I was able to get part-time job in GS Pyeongchang, like a convenience store. It's really good. The second point, ha, in our school we have a lot of festivals and events. <laughs> because there are a lot of festivals, there is my favorite one which is called Chanma. Festival, you know that festival is a festival where foreign foreigners meet together, have fun, play, drink, and it's really fun. Because usually, when you are a foreigner here in Korea, it's somehow lonely. But when you meet other foreign friends, it's really good and fun. Not only festivals, because we also have the Korean uh, speaking competition, we have a uh, Korean culture performance, and it's really fun. To be honest, uh, in the last semester, I, was, I got the second prize in the Korean speak speaking competition, and the first prize in the Korean culture performance and it's one of my favorite part of my university and it's not only event and festival because we have also culture activities like going to Forks uh, village which is near our school and also Hwasong because it's near it's really good to go with your friend have fun while looking the old image of Korea because it's a really a good opportunity uh, to learn about the Korean culture learn more about uh, the old Korea and see how it was 
able to be developed at this part which is really a good part that I like about our university the first part is our university provide consultation and counseling and also uh, living expense support fund ha. as you know nowadays it's not easy to get a korean visa and also while living here in korea it's a little bit expensive of course it depends uh, on your country or where you are from but sometimes there is like a small mistakes and then you can really really struggle a lot but if you are a foreign student here in Korea in our university they really take care of us and all like the the things related to visa or like insurance they really help us so much and also our university has the living expenses support fund for foreign students if you are a foreign student here and suddenly you get uh, into a problem that fund really help you because they they give it to you as a form of scholarship or a discount to your school fees and to be honest i like uh, my university because of that our university is situated in uh, gyeonggi district hwasong city and to be honest a lot of foreign students want to go to seoul but please you can also come to uh, hwasong city because it's not far from seoul it's like an hour in bus and then uh, one good thing the transportation facility is really amazing because you can move from Seoul, Anyang, Suwon and Ansan and it's really easy and another thing I really wanted to recommend to my university because to be honest Seoul is really expensive compared to Hwasong city so if you are planning to come to Korea haha <laughs> please add Suwon University into your list of the university you are thinking about and from my experience I really had great experience while studying in Suwon University because I had a lot of opportunity I had a lot of like business idea I had a lot of friends I like I met a lot of important people so if you're planning to come to Korea really I wanted to recommend you Hwasongji and Suwon University so let me end up the video here and see you in the next one. Annyeong!